Search 50 accounts, adding a new user with full permissions. Firstly, uh, need to, we need to have access to the manager password in order to be able to create a new user, uh, as this is the only user which can create new users in the system. I'm performing this user creation on the latest version 22 of the Sage 50 accounts package, but most early versions operate very similarly. Once we have the manager password, etc., we need to log into the software as the manager user. Uh, for this purpose, I've already logged in uh, onto my current system uh, as the manager user. Okay. Then what we need to do is proceed into the Sage software menu and select settings and access rights. So settings, access rights. Okay. As we can see, uh, currently in there, there are no users present uh, because the manager user is, is sort of a hidden account, so it doesn't appear in these user access rights. If, however, you already have existing users in the system, these will, a list of these will appear in here. Uh, in order to add in a new user, then what we do is we click New. That then brings us onto the user creation box, and we need to put in a username and password. Uh, for purposes on here, I'm just going to use uh, a user called Fred with a password of Fred. Okay, so I'll just key that in. Okay, uh, that's put that in. Although the password is showing up as uh, in capitals there, it is actually in lowercase, the password for Fred. Um, and the passwords are case sensitive when you're keying them, when you're keying them and logging into the software. So it's something to be aware of, whereas the usernames are not case sensitive. Uh, by default, as we can see, this has created the user as full access. Okay. Uh, if we wanted to modify that, we can deselect uh, various modules by just removing the tick or removing the individual one from within options within. So I'll just click on the customers, for instance, there. Expand that if I wanted to remove batch invoicing from there, I can do that. That would then show up as partial against the customers. So even though I just removed one option, that shows as partial. Unticking the top level of the module removes everything and flags it up as none. Okay, so let's check that. So I'm just going to create one with everything on this one. Um, then I click OK. Okay, so now our users appeared in the list, uh, and we'd now be able to log in as that user. Um, the other options that we've got in here, we can edit that user's um, permissions now once we've added it in. So I can, because I'm logged in as manager, I can edit these details. If I wasn't logged in as manager, I wouldn't be able to edit these details. I click Edit, so I can change the password for Fred, etc., in there, or I can remove or add permissions as I like. Um, I can delete the user if I'm saying actually I've created this one by mistake or this user is no, no longer going to be working for the company and we don't want them to have access to the software. Then we can click, click the delete option. Alternatively, we can, can click copy, which allows us to copy these current users' details exactly to a new user. So if I just click copy, then I can key in. So if I, I had somebody called, um, called James at the company, and again with a similar thing of the password of being James. Then I can create that in there, and you can see because the other one had full access, basically it's just copying and mirroring their permissions. Had I removed some access previously, then it would mirror it in there exactly. Then I just click OK. So I've got two new users created in there, Fred and James. Uh, they've both got the same permissions, uh, and then we'd be able to log in as those. So while they're to log in, I just click Close, uh, I just click File, and then Log Off, which logs me off the manager user. So you can now see I'm now prompted for my login name. So I could log back in as manager if I wanted again. So I just click manager there uh, with my then my manager password. Or I can test one of our new users we've just created. So I'll just log in as Fred with the password of Fred. Type it incorrectly. And then we click OK. And that's now logged me in. Uh, and you can see by the bottom of the screen that I'm now logged in as the Fred user account. If I wanted to then test the James account that I've also created. I can click File, Log Off, just key in James there, uh, and James again with my password in lowercase. Click OK. So that's now logged me in as James instead, as, as indicated by the bottom left hand corner of the screen. That concludes this session. Thank you.